everyone, welcome to day 11 of Nail Miss. I am super excited about today because we have some fun little Christmas trees on my nails and I'm thinking I have not done Christmas trees yet this year. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've also kind of gone with a vintage Christmas color scheme. So I did a lot of like red and turquoise and a light pink and I'm really enjoying the whole vintage Christmas trend so I was excited to put it on my nails so let's get started with this manicure. First up I'm going to start with a white base for my nail art and then I'm going to go in with some green acrylic paint and I'm going to start painting my Christmas tree. I decided to like start with a straight line and then work from the bottom up which is unusual. I don't actually I've never done that before, but I thought I would give it a go. And turns out I really, really like this format of creating a Christmas tree. It helps you build it more evenly. And while I say that, I did fix a few things off camera because when I'm doing this art design on camera, I'm doing it behind me and I can't necessarily see if my sides are even. So I did have to even it up off camera. But as you can tell, you get a really good sort of texture of the edges and it doesn't look so like perfectly shaped, which I really, really like for a Christmas tree because I mean, you want that texture of like the different branches on different levels and different thicknesses. It just makes it look more realistic and like a Christmas tree in general. So I'm going to continue this motion or action all the way up the tree to completely build the tree. Once the tree is built, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of creating little spots of the tree off the edges of my nails so it would look like that there, this could be a repeating pattern and it does repeat in other sections of my nails because I wanted to make it a pattern on multiple nails mainly because I'm terrible at centering things. So since my tree wasn't like perfectly centered, I went ahead and went with this route so it looked kind of like it was on purpose. So there's a little tip or trick for you if you're really bad at centering things. Make it a pattern, make it repeat on your other nails so that way it being a little bit off centered doesn't matter. Then after that I went in with a light brown shade and I added a little tree trunk. After that it was time to do the decorations and so like I said earlier I went with a vintage color theme and I did add a pink because I felt like that pops up a lot in the vintage Christmas because it's almost like a shade of red. So I wanted to vary the shapes of the ornaments too. For, so for the pink I just put like little lines maybe they're like little icicle shapes hanging down. And I just did this all over the nails and I made them pretty skinny because I did want to leave enough room for the other ornaments. And I continued that by moving on to some red. And I just did the red in little dots with a dotting tool. And I did use probably one of the smallest dotting tool options that I did have. And then I let those kind of like dry down a teeny little bit. And then I went back in with the same um, nail art brush that I used. The oily short detailer to kind of bring that dot downwards a little bit so it looked like the ornament had more of a shape to it. I don't really know if that type of shape has a particular name but I've been really drawn to those in like Christmas decor this year so I wanted to try to like change it up not just have dots of colors on the tree and actually make it look a little more like ornamenty. Then after the red ornaments were done, I went in with a turquoisey blue shade and I did just dot that color in every now and then to kind of fill up the ornament section of the tree. So at this point, even though the tree was filled, I felt like it was just kind of lacking. So I went and grabbed a golden glitter. This is from Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish and it's called 24 karat and I just dotted a big blob of it at the top that would be kind of like the star but I didn't feel like making a star shape so that's why I went with glitter and glitter is always a good idea, right? Um, then after that was dried, I applied a matte top coat which here of course it looks glossy. So this does make a really fun glossy manicure if you wanted but then I let it dry down and I had 
this design. So this is my final look. I really enjoyed these. I felt like they came out pretty fun. They're different than anything I've done before, I think, for Christmas designs too, which is really nice because after, you know, a few years of doing Christmas designs, it's kind of hard to come up with something new. But I was content with these. And I do want to, like, point out the fact that the background in this video was kind of wonky, but that was because since the nail art that I was doing was based on white, my normal white background didn't look the greatest with this design. It kind of made my nails disappear, so you had to use blue. But hopefully you didn't mind, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another Nail Miss video. Bye!